I prophesy over your life that you will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. You will experience the goodness of God over your family. You will experience the goodness of God over your destiny. You will experience the goodness of God in all you do in the name of Jesus Christ. God is faithful. He is faithful. Oh, hallelujah. I want you to believe. I want you to have this faith. Say, God is faithful. He who promised is faithful and will do it. He will bring it to pass. Say, my God is a faithful God. Oh, hallelujah. God is faithful to do beyond what you are asking, to do more than what you are thinking, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could think or ask of him, according to the greatness of his mighty power that worketh in you. I want to read you something from 1 John 4. 1 John 4, 4 tells us, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome the world, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are from God by believing in Christ. He says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. But I want you to get it. Greater is he that is in us. Greater is the power of God. Paul says in, in Romans 8, 11, he said, if the spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead, if that spirit also lives in us, he will energize us, equip, empower us. Hallelujah. And so here, First John 4, 4 says, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That means our God is greater than the problem. He's greater than the situation. He's greater than all the circumstances you find yourself. The one who lives in you is greater. Somebody say, greater is he that lives in me than he that is in the world. Do you know that? Greater is God who lives in you than he that is in the world. I prophesy over your life. May the peace of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, when you are going through diverse circumstances, I ask that the peace of God will rest on you. The Spirit of God will touch you. You'll be free from your limitations be free from any powers that limit you in the name of Jesus. I ask that the Father of glory will have mercy upon you. Somebody say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. The Bible says, by his mercy we are not consumed. Oh, hallelujah. Inamaka so farabaka ziza, zevata baka so fatalabade. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Keep saying that word. As you say it, it will grow in you. Remember, Jesus says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in his garden. Is that seed. That seed is the word of God. You plant it into the garden of your heart, into the garden of your spirit. And as you keep meditating, as you keep reading it, that seed will grow. It will grow. It will grow and become a great tree. Glory to God that can help others. The word of God is the seed 
that is his soul in us. The greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Do you know that? I pray that your eyes will be open to understand this reality in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. O robo koshi talavasi, prasezo vadina kabani shedinaya, praka sososi sate, levida kuprase. Lord, I pray that anyone listening to me who is going through something, let your peace rest on them. Those who are going through diverse circumstances, let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Those of them who have fallen in different situations because they have walked out of the way, they have fallen, they have sinned. Father, may you forgive them and cleanse them from every unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. I pray for a restoration for you, a restoration over your spirit, over your soul, over your mind. I pray that the spirit of the Lord will equip you will anoint you, will feel you, will touch you, will strengthen you in every area of your life and you can become alive again to worship God. So may God bless you. May his peace rest upon you. Manti braki sovaziza. Zebatoni baraki sovaya. Zebridani ragaso zavakatala. Meleko so prekeshata. Sikara visofate. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Mashakata labada. I cannot fail. Raso vazizaketo ridani. I am not lacking. I have ideas from above to live a life on the earth. I will be a source of joy to many. I will be a source of inspiration to many. I will be a source of hope to many from God. I will be a light to others to God. That's how you prophesy over your life. Say, I refuse to be sad. I refuse to be bitter. I refuse to remain in poverty. I am rising to take my place in God's kingdom. I'm rising to take my place in life. I'm rising to do that which God created me to do. In the name of Jesus, I cannot be limited. I cannot be limited because creator is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let all the works of the enemy be destroyed. Let all the plans of the enemies towards me be destroyed. Let the agenda be exposed. In the name of Jesus, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for God is with me. Man Reka sombra di sacarande, Jesusa bura ki susunina, eso vrakesco farate. That's how you make declaration over your life, and of course, all this declaration will not work if you live in sin. So you always have to first of all repent from your sins before you pray, because sin is a hindrance to your prayer. And what is sin? Unforgiveness is a sin. Gossiping is a sin. Abiding is a sin. Jealousy is a sin. Hatred is a sin. And you can name and name and name and name. Lie is a sin. Cheating is a sin. You see that? Unfaithfulness is a sin. So you know them and you confess them and ask God for the strength not to do it again. But if you continue to live in sin, you're living in a rebellion. And demonic spirit like people who live in sin because sin is a disobedient to God. Find yourself in sin. You are a tool for the enemy to use to do havoc on the earth. So while you pray and want to see God, hear your prayer, change your life, submit yourself to Him, walk in the fear of God. 
Say no to things God hates. Say no to the things of evil. Say no to things that do not glorify God. Anything you will get involved that will not glorify God, don't do it. That's how you train your life to live. Don't just do it because you will eat or earn from it. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Right? What, what shall it profit a man? Jesus telling us in Matthew 4, he says, A man's life is not only by food alone. Man shall not live by food alone. But that means there are other ways God has devised for us to live. Not necessarily only by food. But there are other things also we can live by. So God bless you and have a good day. Alaka so la baka se. And prafa so zida bakate. Shana nina shazida prako sonde.